Now, if you're just starting off to watch my series I have out now on starting over wasteland to homestead, um, I'm going to take a couple acres, develop the, the land, develop the dirt, make it into a useful barnyard. Now, I'm not just starting blind on that one. This pasture that I'm standing in here, this is my test pasture to see if I could do it. What type of soil amendments I needed, what I could grow. It's been up for about four years. I've had Bermuda grass in here. I've had pumpkin patches in here. I've had sorghum in here. You name it. Uh, pretty much whatever I want to put in here tends to grow. Except for this is supposed to be winter wheat. Now, I was doing all right. It was about three, four inches tall. Then all of a sudden, it just started disappearing on me. And I couldn't figure out why. Until, as I said, this is an experiment. And the experiment's a good thing because it pointed out a flaw that I need to fix. Now, when I fence this in, it's got stock fence to keep the uh, animals so I can have them here to graze. And I didn't want rabbits getting in, so I ran chicken wire. But I left out one small part. I forgot to close off the corner of the fence here. Just big enough for the rabbits to get in. And what do I got? Rabbit turds. Now, there's just enough winter grass in here. It's about that tall. It's so hard to see. If I can fix this today, I have a chance. I'm going to get to it. Now the good news is, there's still enough of the winter wheat that's sprouting. They didn't take the uh, roots out. They just ate them up from the top, as you can see where they're bitten off. So uh, yeah, throw some water on it. Let's see if it comes back. Now there's so much wind that I had to stop doing the microphone and just do a voiceover right now. You know, some people around here say that the wind, it hasn't always been this way, but there's so many Californians, including the Texas, that's causing a big draft. We all have to deal with it. But anyhow, I got the hole in the fence fixed up. That hopefully that'll keep the rabbits at bay. I'm watering out right now, and I'm watering out for my fish tanks. So all this water is a heavy nitrate solution. It's coming out of the bioreactors from fish tanks. If you haven't seen my aquaponics videos, check them out. They're pretty cool. But if you look in the background, you can see those tra the trees swaying in the wind in big sky country. It's not Montana, but it is definitely, definitely a beautiful area. The dirt's a wasteland, but you can make it into something. You just got to work really hard at it, stay on it, and uh, it just takes trial and error. And that's what I learned today. I've been doing trial and error in this little pasture for the last four years. And the rabbits finally found a way in, and they took out a crop. Not a big deal. I'll fix it. I'll press on. And now I know when I do the uh, Wasteland to Homestead series and the other two acres, it's going to have a lot better rabbit fencing and safeguards than that, too. So as we move on, we're going to learn from this channel. I'm going to learn from this channel. I'm learning something right now watching the video. Um, I see trees in the background. I've got trees coming in. It's going to be a tree farm starting in March. So if you're around in March and check it out, I got 300 trees coming in from the state. And yeah, there's a trick to that. I'll tell you about it, how you can get trees dirt cheap. Literally, the state gives you two for pennies on the dollar. Um, I got hundreds of trees coming in. We're going to expand operations, expand the pastures, expand the homestead. Now, with all that, y'all stay safe.